Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we've got this 718 Cayman 2 litre turbo back in our workshop for a turbo upgrade. Now, if you're familiar with our channel, you might have already seen this Cayman on the channel where we've done a stage two upgrade and it's running around 400 horsepower and about 380 foot pounds of torque at the moment. Um, now to go to the next level, obviously the next level, stage three, is a bigger turbo upgrade. So we're gonna be installing a Litco turbocharger onto this car so a um, bigger compressor wheel, a bigger turbine wheel to hopefully supply some more boost to this engine because the turbo that's on it at the moment is um, not producing enough boost at the end of the rev range to keep on seeing a big increase of power. Um, so I don't believe anyone else has done any of these two litre turbos so far. Uh, when I was looking uh, for any research, anything like that on YouTube, couldn't see anyone had done it. So I guess this might be one of the first, if not the first um, in the UK to have this. Um, we are going to obviously be custom tuning the car, so I'm um, like optimizing the fuel ignition boost to all the maps inside the ECU um, to do with the turbo upgrade. Um, things we might run into um, that are gonna limit the power output on this car, it's probably gonna be to do with um, like the fueling and potentially the charge temps as well, because obviously on this car, we're running the standard charge cooler, but with water meth to um, cool down the charge cooling a little bit. And obviously the fueling is completely standard on this car as well. And being direct injection, we might need a um, upgraded um, high pressure fuel pump, which isn't currently available on the market. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting stuck into this. So first of all, we will um, get the car on the dyno. We will log the car. Um, as it is at the moment before we install the hardware, then get it in the workshop, install the hardware, and then back on the dyno to custom tune the car and see what kind of results um, we get at the end of the video. So yeah, stay tuned with us and let us know what you think at the end. Okay, so we've got the graphs up behind us. So we've got the blue lines, which is the car as it arrived, and the red lines as the car is leaving us now. Um, with this line here being the horsepower and this line here being the torque. And as you can see from the blue figures, um, there's a very massive lack of low down power and torque on the standard car, or it's not standard car, but as the car arrived. Reason being is that the actuator was actually seized on the standard turbocharger and there was several faults um, inside the uh, control units for various different errors with regards to boost levels and things like that, which obviously ties in to the um, graphs that we're seeing here. So you can kind of discredit the um, standard graphs. It's not really a fair comparison, um, but the, the headline figures are sort of still there. So the car's making around 386 horsepower and about 500 newton meters of torque, which is around what the car made um, a couple of years ago when we did the um, stage two ECU tune. Um, but now obviously we've got a substantially higher power and torque. We've gained around 70 horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. So it's a massive difference on this car. Um, a big difference before and after the whole way across the rev range without losing too much low down power and torque, obviously with a bigger turbo as well. So this is gonna be a night and day different car to, to drive. Headline figure is about 445 horsepower and about 540 newton meters of torque. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. 
And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously, you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.